the home in South Sacramento is calling for justice tonight. Police say they know who the shooter is. Still sorting out what led up to this deadly shooting. Fam the family of a man shot and killed at a home in South Sacramento is calling for justice tonight. Police say they know who the shooter is. They have not yet arrested him. Thanks for staying with us here at 10 o'clock. I'm Hunter Sowards. And I'm Marley Ginter. CBS 13 Steve Large is getting answers into why no arrests have been made so far. Steve? And police are still sorting out what led up to this deadly shooting. Family is calling the killing ruthless. You know, he didn't have to die that way. I think that was ruthless. An aunt seeking answers and accountability in the deadly shooting of her nephew. She is identifying as 38 year old James Rankins, father of two girls. These are his so called friends. Police were called to this 27th Street home following the shooting to find Rankins laying in the front yard here with at least one gunshot wound. And the subject's in the front yard. We have like 30s. It looks like he came into the son's yard and tried to 211 him. Dispatch audio describes the scene as a 211, a robbery. Only Rankin's aunt says her nephew had been invited here and was friends with the family, a father and son. He had once lived here with them. Where was his mask? Why would you go in there and show your face? He did. If he did do anything wrong, okay, we'll accept that. But it, it's just not sounding right. It's just not sounding right. There's a lot of unknowns. Attorney Justin Ward says investigators are likely interviewing witnesses and combing through surveillance cameras to determine what led up to the deadly shooting and whether it was an act of self-defense. You're allowed to use deadly force or force causing great bodily injury to defend against a violent crime. So if somebody ro tries to rob you, violently, you can use deadly force to defend yourself. A deadly confrontation at a home where family says friendship took a fatal turn, leaving this father dead and this grieving aunt seeking answers. I want to know the truth. Yeah, the shooting took place at about six o'clock yesterday evening. The family of Rankins is planning a vigil for tomorrow night. Yeah, Sacramento Police Department is still here on scene investigating this shooting, this deadly shooting. We're here on 27th Street, and this shooting happened further down the road there as police continue to conduct their investigation, and the police have a few blocks closed off. Now, the details of what happened before the shooting have not been released at this time, but police is five hours into this investigation. Police cars and lights litter this South Sacramento neighborhood after a man was shot and killed Sunday evening. I can hear someone saying call an ambulance and the cops. One caller saying a subject shot. Just before 6 p.m., Sacramento police officers responded to the area near 27th Street and 57th Avenue. They say they found a 38-year-old man shot at least once. 44 is going to have multiple gunshot wounds in the chest, not responsive. They later died on scene from a gunshot wound. On my way here, right when I got right here, I heard a shot go off over there. Robert Ramos lived nearby and was walking towards the area when it happened as he tried to visit a nearby store. How many shots did you hear? I know it was probably one I heard. It could have probably been more because, you know, in the moment you don't really know what's going on. I don't know if they shot out of a car or they walked up, shot the dude. Homicide detectives trying to figure that out as they gather evidence and interview witnesses as the shooting disturbs the South Sacramento neighborhood.